Okay, we are getting started. Come on over to your yoga mat. Stand at the top of the mat. Mountain pose, turn the palms slightly open down by your side. Either keep your gaze open or close the eyes. Take in breath body, how you are greeting yourself for this time of movement. And start just by stepping into the breath a little bit more. Nice full breath, belly, ribs, chest. Exhale out, chest, ribs, belly. One more time, full breath in. And breath out. Take your feet just a little bit wider apart. Take a little bend behind the knees and then drop chin down to your chest, taking a bit of the whole upper body with you. Head roll. Here over towards the right side and then back over to the left and chin down. Again, I'm moving a little bit in the whole upper body here to help support that opening head roll. Go two head rolls in the first direction and then nice and slow two head rolls in the second direction. Once you come back to the center, lift the head, open the eyes if they're not already, shoulder rolls up and back. So we're going to find a little opening body roll from the top to the bottom here. Switch the shoulders forward and down. And then just shrug the shoulders up and down, up and down. Good, we're going down to the hips, low, slow circle here, all the way back and around. Really pressing the hips forward as you come to the front to get a nice stretch through the hip flexor. And then switch directions. Doing lots of modern and jazz dance growing up, we always started, I'd say we spend a good 20 minutes at the beginning of class doing lots of circling motions through each of the joints. We're down to the knees now. I had let that go, but as I've gotten into my boxing, the instructors often do a lot of circling and it reminded me, ah, this stuff is good for our joints in lots of different movement patterns. Circle the knees the opposite way if you haven't already. And we're gonna get down to the ankles. Just balance on one side and have the other foot out. Try to give it some circles. Getting in a little bit of that balance and core work right off the bat too. Other foot. A little easier to keep ourselves healthy and strong if we've got good range of motion. All right, shake it all out and step back to the back end of your yoga mat. Lift the arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold down to your toes. Inchworm, walk it out to plank pose. Once you get to plank, Right foot comes forward into your lunge and lift the right arm up. 
lower it down, step the right foot back, plank, do a push up in between, step the left foot forward to your lunge, and take the left hand high into the twist, lower it down, step back to plank, Walk the hands to the feet. Nice hamstring stretch as you walk it in. Big lift up, arms to the sky. We'll do that one more time and then we'll transition into our triple B sun salutations. So here, walk it out to plank. Right foot comes up to the lunge, right hand to the sky. Lower it down, step to plank, do a push up or hold plank. And then left foot forward, left hand high. Lower the left hand, step back to plank. Some bend in the knees, but try to work through a stretch in the hamstrings as you walk your hands back to your feet. Rise on up. Good, we keep going, sweep down. Walk out this time to downward facing dog. Down dog, twist, take the right hand to the left leg, look and twist underneath. Friends, a good variation for this that's a little more easeful in the body is down on the knees with a reach through. Second side, you take left hand to the right leg. If you're in all fours, left hand is floating. Set both hands down. Come forward to plank. Slow mountain climber, right knee in and back. Left knee in and back. Go right, back, left, back. Four more, a little quicker, right left, right, left. Step forward, stand up, body weight squat here, you're down and up. Keep your toes turned straight ahead, knees over the middle of the toes. Each time you come up, a little press of the hips forward as you tuck tailbone. I've lost my count, I'm going with six, seven, and eight hands down, down dog. Hands come to the feet. Inhale, stand up, reach the arms to the sky. Exhale, we'll do it one more time through. Touch down to your toes. All uh, come out to downward facing dog. Right hand takes the twist to the left. Set it back down. Left hand takes the twist to the right. Set it back down. Come forward to plank. Slow mountain climbers for four. And back three. Back two. And one. Speed it up for four more. Four, three, two, one. Step or jump for the stand up and squat. Here we are. Three, keep going. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hands down. Down dog. Walk the hands to the feet. Great agility work there. Transferring the weight front to back constantly that we do in this practice. And hands just down by your side. Mountain pose again. How's your breath? Heart rate a bit lifted. Before we pick up the weights here, we're going into about a five minute hit focus. Stay at the back end of your mat. 
I want you to take your left foot, I'm gonna stay on the same foot as you, left foot a little bit, step forward. The right foot, heel right at the back end of your mat. You turn out your toes slightly. You shouldn't feel like you're on a skateboard. The right foot should be a little bit out to the side. Yeah, so you're about the width of your yoga mat. Bend the knees, you're down in a low squat. Here's the first action is just stepping back and forth here, foot to foot. Have the arms up. We're gonna do some shadow boxing. The left arm is your one jab. It goes straight ahead and back. That right arm is your two. Get it in the mix. One, two, one, two. And now walk forward with it. It should feel and look a little bit funny. Stay low in the legs. You can do this as slow or as fast as you wish. And then walk back. We're looking for a little movement throughout the whole body here to get the heart rate up and get that burn going as we go into our section lifting. More resistance weights. Keep going forward and back. Stay in your own time and space. If the walking complicates all of the coordination and things, you can always stay in just one place with that low squat. Think straight ahead, right about chin level for these punches. Good, next time you reach the back end of your mat, stand up and find plank pose. To start us out, just a nice solid hold of plank. Be on your hands and on your toes. If you're looking for a different variation, be on the knees. Or if it's the shoulders that need a little less, the wrists that need a little rest, you could be down on the forearms. If you are on your hands though, you can add in this little extra shoulder taps, right hand taps the left shoulder and down. Start really slow, left shoulder and down. Try to keep the hips as square as possible knowing there's always a little bit of shift side to side. Once you get the feel for those shoulder taps, as long as everything feels healthy and safe, go quicker. We're here in these shoulder taps about 10 more seconds. 10 seconds, that's quick, right? You've got this. Five, four, three, two, one, safely come back up to stand at the back end of your yoga mat. You're back into that little squat with left foot forward, right knee back, arms up. This time we're gonna go into fives and sixes, which is your uppercut. So five goes low to come high. Six goes low to come high. And these don't need to be perfect. It's just a movement, more like a bicep curl, and then walk it forward. Nice strong fist here to keep the tension and squeeze in the muscles. Walk it forward and walk it back. You want that left foot all the way over on the left side of your yoga mat, the right foot on the right side. So you've got a little bit of width, working adductors, abductors, all at the same time. That's your thigh muscles, outer booty. One more time, walk it forward. And walk it back. Back to the plank pose setup. 
This one's all about the legs, so you can be on hands or forearms and get in the work. And we've already been here. Mountain climbers, start very slow here. I want that plank hold to be your primary focus. Mountain climber knee in, little round in the back. Switch your cross mountain climbers, meaning it's a little twist underneath the body. You're here for five, four, three, two, and one. Safely stand up, come to the back of the mat. We are into our last and final movement. Again, you're standing at the back of the mat. This is a big, broad jump up to the front. I'm gonna show you the biggest impact first. Swing the arms and you jump forward and you are duck walking back, hands at the head, side to side. If you're like, no, no jumps necessary here today, you duck walk forward and back. Yeah? Pick where you're at. You can interchange between the two. Last hit exercise, go for it. We're just about 45 seconds in each of these with that little break pause as you transition. Put the whole thing together. It's five minutes long. And I know we're all feeling it. Reminder that those little bursts of energy, if you don't have the full 45 minutes to set aside, do little bursts throughout your day, it'll add up and it's so good for you. You got one more jump, one more walk forward. Okay, at the back end of your mat, tap your feet just nice and slow, side to side. Maybe put the hands over the body to feel breath, heart rate connection. Bring it down just a bit. If this ever feels the least bit dizzy, out of focus to you, move more like walk in circles, big circles, but don't close the eyes, just keep moving until that heart rate comes down slow. Those that are ready, lift the arms back up. Exhale, forward fold. Downward facing dog. Come forward to plank. We're putting back in that perfect stretch that we started with. Right foot forward to the lunge. Lift the right hand. Lower it down. Plank in between. No need for a push up here. We're just looking for the room and the stretch before we pick up the weights. Left side, left hand up. And down through plank. Do it one more time. Push the right foot forward into your lunge, but this time lower the back knee. Take both hands to the front thigh and let the hips go a little forward and down. Stay there or add a twist. Look out over the right shoulder. Release the hands down. Step back to plank. Second side, step the left foot forward, right knee down, hands to the front thigh. Hips moving down and forward here. Breathe and stretch, look out over the left shoulder. Hands down to the mat, step forward now, front end of the mat. 
standing forward fold. Bend the knees, slow roll up to standing. Roll the shoulders a couple of times. Okay, we're good and warm and ready for a set of weights. Find your five pound. I've got three and five pound weights out. I'm picking up the five pound weights. Stand with your feet hip distance apart. Weights just down by your side. And we're doing easy curls up and down. Hammer curls here, so your thumb should be pointed towards the sky as you curl up. Good, double time the pace, up and down, up and down. It's quick here, still not throwing the weights around. Double time to the best of our abilities with what's still working in the body. Four more in double time. Four, three, two, and one. Let the arms hang down by your side. Sorry, my earbuds are about to fall out. And shrug the shoulders up, down. It's a little shoulder shrug up. Down, up, down. Just two more. A little bit of active recovery, if you will. We're going to calf raises. Heels come off the ground, just up and down. Mm -hmm. Still feeling a bit like we're in that active recovery, but adding in good core focus here. Navel back towards the spine. As you lift, imagine your inner thighs squeezing towards each other to help you stay at the highest part of that calf raise for as long as possible. A few more here. You're up, down, up, down. Two more. Up, down, up down. Going into a bigger movement again from the top of the mat. Step the right foot back. Find your lunge, the lower part of the lunge. So both knees nice and bent. Focus on that back leg here with the back knee hovering just a little bit above the mat. And we're going into a dynamic low lunge, meaning I want you to have a little pulse here at the very bottom. Now, please know hands can stay just as is holding the weights. If you're up for a little challenge and shoulders are feeling good, I want you to curl the weights to the shoulders and then press arms straight overhead. Keep the tiny pulse going in the legs through this low lunge. And we're here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Curl hands to shoulders. Down, step forward. <laughs> Welcome, Triple B 2022, right? Second side, step the left foot back. Make sure as you find this lunge, feet are at least hip distance apart still. You're kind of creating some space. Anytime you feel you want to switch to your lower weights or none at all, please do so. Add that pulse in here at the bottom. Think 90, 90 degree from hip to knee. Knee to the ankle. If you're adding, curl to the shoulders and arms straight up. Woo, I feel the fatigue quick on this side. How about y'all? <laughs> Let's hang in there. We've got this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
One, set the arms down first, then step forward. Set the weights down for a moment and shake out your legs. Good time to grab a little drink of water, shake it out in between. One more set here, thinking arms, core, legs. This time I'm gonna pick up the wider set of weights, just knowing the fatigue that's running through me. If you were totally good at the five pounds and wanna keep that, try it out first, that's good. I'm going three. Come stand at the top end of your mat. This is shoulder work. We're thinking it like clock side to side. It's right arm up and down, left arm up and down. So it's like you're pushing yourself a little bit. As one arm comes down, the other comes up. Yeah, more curls are perfect if this outer shoulder work does not work. Rotator often not so happy about this movement, so making sure it's feeling good to you, no strain. Little more clockwork, right, left, right, left, right, left. One more, right and left. Change. Hold the arms either here overhead or right at the chest. We are adding in a tree pose. I lost my words there for a moment, tree pose. So arms either overhead or you can think of the dumbbells pressing together and staying right at chest height in your prayer hands. Tree pose holding in that balance control, stabilization of the core. You know, we have a big trampoline in our backyard and it was weighted down with snow. Yesterday I got out there to shovel all the snow off of the trampoline. Next time I'll invite somebody over for that amazing core stabilization workout. I can feel this. Okay, right foot goes down. You're on to your other side. Feel free to switch up. Try the opposite hand position or keep it as you were. That little bonus of not using the hand to help the foot into tree pose. Also another great piece of the stabilization work. Push the leg into the foot, the foot into the leg. Stay here, breathe here. And we are good, lower the leg, lower the weights for just a moment to shake everything out. We're going lower in the body in a nice wide goddess squat. So as you take more of the length of your mat, turn the toes out, bend the knees, have the weights first just resting right at the hips. This pose tends to wanna to dip our chest and head down forward. Take your focus, aim it straight ahead or even up towards where the wall and ceiling meet each other. Add a little pulse and that'll help to keep chest lifted. Now here, stay in the low point and add good old regular bicep curls. Palms supinate and face out. And try to do these double time. You're up, down, up, 
down, up, down, like that. Keep going. Weights in the curls or rested at the hips. We are here low in the legs for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Straighten the legs, turn the toes parallel to one another, feet parallel to one another. Wide-legged forward fold. While you're there, set the weights down, not to pick them up again. Enjoy the stretch through the back of the legs. And then look towards the front of your mat and come into a low lunge and around to all fours. And this all fours, I like knees together, but hands still shoulder distance apart. Lift the right leg up and back, flex the foot and point the toes down. Extend the left arm out in front. So this is a static hold in bird dog. Right leg, left arm, opposite arm and leg. If it starts to get like heavy pushing down into the hand and knee, can you lift out of the joints a bit more? Really hold that core center strong. Lower the left hand, lower the right knee. Lift the left leg up and back. Right arm out in front. Using both the dynamic and the static stretch and strengthening movement throughout each triple B practice. This is the hold. Lower the right hand, lower the left knee. Child's pose, separate the knees, big toes together. Sit your hips back, really just let this one release and feel good here. No strength, no stabilizing movement needed, just release. Crawl the lie all the way down on your belly. Extend the legs up and back so you really get in your full length. And then arms out in front. Put pinky, pinky fingers down to the ground, palms facing in. Press the pinkies down and sort of guide back a little bit so that it does make your chest lift. And then keep as much of the chest lifted as possible and lift the arms. So the chest is gonna have to come down to get those arms up. But again, we're static holding here in a lift. Squeeze the glutes. Legs can be down or up, superhero. You're here for five more seconds. And then lower the hands, relift the chest. And lower everything, forehead into your hands. So create a little pillow, hand over hand. Lay your forehead down into it and lift your legs, just the legs, lift up. Nice strong squeeze in the glutes. It doesn't have to be a very high lift at all. I'm just looking for thighs, knees, shins, feet off of the ground, even just a tiny bit. You lift, 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 hold, and release. Shake the glutes a little side to side. 
push yourself into Sphinx Pose. So now you're on forearms with the elbows right underneath the shoulders and look forward. This is a strong engaged Sphinx Pose. So sometimes for low back work and release, I'll do this very heavy and hangy kind of a yen posture. I want you to push into the forearms so you feel activated and strong here and squeeze the glutes as tall as you can be in Sphinx. And this transitions us to forearm plank, tuck the toes. Can you get your knees, some of the thighs off the ground with just muscular strength and control activation? And then hips lift up for forearm plank. If forearm plank's working for you, how about side forearm plank? Keep left forearm down, lean to the side, lift the right forearm up. You might think, nope, that's crazy. Stay in your full forearm, no problem. Two forearms down, switch the legs to the other side. Two forearms down, stay there. Everyone lower the knees nice and wide and push your way back to child's pose. Again, a full release. Take your time to change to a seated position. Soles of the feet on the mat. Hook your hands behind the crease of the knees. Think cat back and let yourself lean back about half of the way. Hold that round of cat back, sort of a scooped out of the navel, if you will. Imagine like a soup bowl resting right in there. Can you hold this? but hands above the knees instead of clutched under the knees. And these are always questions. It's a yes, it's a no, it's a I need to transition back and forth. Do what's best for you. And then we lift all the way back up. Pull the chest as close as you can to the thighs. Think like cow spine. Go back to cat one more time. Hook and hold behind the knees or don't. We're almost a full 45 minutes though into this movement. So using a little support is not a bad thing, nor is it ever. Come back up, think cow. And this time we're lying all the way down, lie your Back down to the mat. Tiny little bit more work. Hands brush towards your heels. Heel taps or pigeon here. You come up into a crunch, lift head and shoulders off of the mat, and you're tapping side to side. If it's easy to reach your heels, try reaching towards the front of your ankles. Try reaching all the way towards the pinky toe. Get the obliques in to work. Heel taps, keep it up. Almost there, almost there. And done. Lower it down, hug the knees into the chest. Really good work today. Stepping into Triple B on this new year. Take the hands out to a T. Knees over towards the right side in a supine twist. Knees across the center, let them fall to the second side. I 
I hope that BU Hub and the movement practice in general are helping you just kind of roll with what comes in this new year. Some same, some different. This month, letting everything be processed in to witness, to notice. Next month, we'll get more towards the process of what we want to let go of and release. This month, just stay right as you notice it all. Bring the knees back in. Give yourself a good squeeze. And either lying on your back or rolling up to a seat, I want you to take just about five good full breaths to close us out. Place the hands over your body. Really connecting in, in, in. And you're welcome, of course, to take a little bit more time. Keep letting that heart rate slow down. Add in the last few stretches you might need. But that is it for Triple B today. Thank you.